Hello again, welcome back to Overheart. Happy to see you guys back again. Today I'm going to do a St. Patrick's Day video and do some um, fun colors on my eyes for our green day. I'm showing you my shirts that I just... A shamrock shirt and my beads. And I've got my little shamrock earrings, which is over the top. I'll take these back off probably and change a little bit and go to work in, in something more subtle. But it'll be kind of fun to kind of wear my, my green stuff and go ahead and go with that. So I'm going to actually do a cut crease with a, uh, a really dark green liner, or a dark green um, shadow actually. And this is the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. So I'm going to use that one there. And uh, we'll start actually just going into, I have a I have concealer on my lids. Foundation's already on, brows are already filled in. So I'm just going to go from there and focus on the eyes. So let me just get more comfortable here. So first thing I'm going to do is actually take a, a swooky pencil and just do a line crease area there so we have a starting point and stopping point and then I'm going to blend it out so I do a little bit with a brush a powdery pencil so it's dark but it's going to stay in place with that creaminess from the pencil but it's also going to blend out a little bit better so I have kind of like an edge of where to stop So now going above that, I'm going to actually use a warmer color above the, 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 the dark line and then I'll go back down with the, the greener color for the other part there. So I'm going to go to um, Maiden and carefully keep this above that line. Create kind of a, like a smokier look above, and then the pop of color will be down below, of course. So it becomes a transition color. I'm going to go into my green color, which is the, what's it called? Called mullet. That's that green pigmented color there. And we're going to use a, um, a setting spray, which is the Wet n Wild Natural Finish, Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. And that would be kind of a stickier thing to hold on to the color on the lid. It's a concealer brush, but just it's again just something to kind of help keep the color stay in place and have a stopping point where that darker line was applied. I just did that, so there's the dark green there. I might um, a little bit more there. And just kind of press it in, working up to that, that line that we created. Okay, there's that part there. I'm going to do a quick little mist here. Give it a second to set that. 
I'm going to go and while we're waiting for that to kind of set, I'm going to do the brow bone and grab a brush. Let's see. We'll do this um, pale color, which is Angel Fire on the brow bone. So there's that part there. And then I'm going to do a, um, a gold kind of right in the center there on the lid. So we'll grab that other color here and let me find another brush that's the same size there. Let's see here. It's a little small, this will work. And now the gold right in the center. Let's see if this picks up very well. Right over the iris. That kind of brings out the colors in the shirt. So it's kind of fun. Put this guy away. And now I'll go into um, just a liquid liner. I'm going to line my upper lash line with the liquid. that line. And there's that. I'll have to get that call in a little bit there actually. So anyway, this is kind of most of it. I'll finish up the rest of it with my mascara and all that in just a little bit.